In this video, I would like to show you how to easily put your signature on your letter templates so these become a permanent part of your letters. This question was asked specifically um, through TDO Chat by Dr. Pascal recently. First, before we actually go to our letters, scan in copies of your signature, so sign on a white piece of paper and scan that in as an image file, and I'd like you to save these into a library that you're going to name Signature for Letters. If you have more than one doctor in your office, please have each person's signature in this library folder. Now that these are available, I'm going to resize this so I can still use this once I'm in the Letters module. I'm going to click Letters. And first I'd like to show you a template we already put this on. So when I pick my two image referral report, you can see here that it has um, Gary's signature right here in his handwriting. So now let me show you how to put that on a template. Whenever you're making a permanent change to a letter format, you have to go to the template tab. And let's go ahead and pick our basic interim to pick. Now right now you can see this just has the typed word Gary. So I'm going to back this out and I'm going to go up here to my, my picture. I'm going to click copy so that copies it to my clipboard. I'm going to come down here, right click, paste, and there it is. It is now an image box so you can drag and resize it to make it just how you like it. And then when you're done editing your template, make sure you come up here on the upper left in the TDO side and click Save. And then this will be a permanent part of that template. Now, if you have more than one practicing doctor in your office, these are currently not available as tokens. So what you can do is you can leave it with one image on here and then at the time of generating your letter you can replace it if necessary or let's go ahead and just take the name off completely. I'm going to save this. So now when I'm on my new letter tab I'm generating a report for a patient. This comes up totally blank for the signature. So I can quickly come up here, copy my signature, paste it in, and I'm done. So it's really up to you which way works better for you when you have more than one signature that can apply. Or on your template you can actually put both signatures and then just remove the one that doesn't apply at the time of generating the letter. I hope this helps explain how easy it is to put a signature file on a letter template.